Y'all ready to get cozy? Oh, thank you. It is very nice. Hello. <laughs> this week I wanted to do something not so different and <laughs> kind of what I've been doing for the past two years, but make it very cozy. Because you know what? I don't know about you, but I feel like this winter has been non-stop chaos and stress and just you feel like you can't take a second to relax so that's what i wanted to do today and shocking i'm going to be sewing something <laughs> my relationship with my sewing machine right now is a friendship but it's one of those friendships that you know it was a little rocky to begin with and then you stuck them in a box for two months i know you know exactly what i'm talking about Normally sewing is not my go-to for relaxing, but I think what I'm gonna do this week, a lot of times in my sewing videos, I try to make like two garments just because I get nervous about things being boring and people not wanting to watch. I receive some feedback sometimes that it's okay to just do one thing and go a little bit more in depth into that thing. And that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I figured we could go to my fabric stash, pick out a nice old fabric. And I think what I wanna do is use the, the stays pattern that I have from American Duchess. Instead of making it like an actual boned piece, take a sip of my maturity juice. <sighs> boned, see? Not funny at all. Instead of making it like a historical boned garment, I just, I think I'm gonna just make it as a more casual wearable item. I think I'm gonna make it reversible. I figure I gotta make the lining anyways. I might as well make the lining a different fabric. Asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. I don't know, I haven't really gotten a chance to sit down and chat with y'all <laughs> since like summer. So sit down, de-stress, take a breath, ignore the fact that my house is sort of falling apart. We're just gonna hang out. Before we go to my fabric stash, which is currently out in the barn, this video is sponsored, so to talk just a little bit about that is Sponsor Rachel. Hey there. Excuse me. So today's video is sponsored by Native Deodorant. I've personally been using Native products for years. It is the only deodorant I've been using ever since I made the switch to aluminum-free deodorant. So not only are they aluminum-free, they are also paraben-free, they are vegan and cruelty-free. And honestly, I never really thought it was a possibility to have so much freedom when it comes to picking out your deodorant scent. But let me tell you, I was a little taken aback with how many options they had. <laughs> Usually my go-to for them is the coconut flavor, but this time they sent me tie-dye cupcake which is from their Baked by Melissa collection, buttercream and vanilla, which also smells like a delicious cupcake. <laughs> For the days where I don't feel like my armpits smelling like a confectionery treat, I did get powder and cotton. It sounds kind of silly to get like food flavored deodorant, but the perfume that I usually wear is very heavily cupcakey vanilla. So I don't know, I just, I just want my pits to match <laughs> my aura. The scent truly does stay on all day, which if you've been here for any of the warmer months, you would probably know that I sweat a considerable amount. So I need deodorant that can kind of keep up with that. They have more than deodorant. They have body wash and toothpaste. A few months ago, bought their oat milk latte body wash and I use it religiously. I'll tell you what, in a hot shower, I smell like a bowl of oatmeal. And you wanna smell like a snack? So yes, if you do want to check out Native Deodorant or Body Wash or Toothpaste, they are doing a special offer where three deodorants would normally be $39, but if you use my code MAXI4, you can get it for $26, which is over 33% off. You can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste using that code. The link for that will be down in the description. Don't forget to use my code MAXI4. Thank you so much, Native, for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's trudge out to my barn driveway is an actual ice skating rink right now so here's to praying I don't die horribly. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers are appreciated. <sighs> <sighs> All right fabric stash. Obviously I'm inclined to go earth tones. Who would have thunk it honestly? But it's kind of tricky because I also need colors that are gonna go together when you reverse them so that they can have similar thread colors. This is kind of nice. 
kind of want this to be thick. Is this is a good shot. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, I have made my decision. I'm gonna go with this. Whoops, oh my God. This for one side. So this is old curtains that I picked up at the thrift store. This looks brown, but I swear it's like a coppery orange color that someone sent me in my P.O. box. Because autumn is a state of mind and um, it may be February, but in my head, it's crunchy spicy leaf time. <laughs> and this is kind of springy. So you know what? We get two seasons in one garment, depending on my mood. Are you focused on me? Hello? Yeah, okay. Maybe a yellow thread because this has yellow in it. Eh, that's the plan. Let me dig out, um... <laughs> Where did I put my patterns? I'm going to dig out Dear Abby Cox from um, storage. Sorry, Abby. Where's that beautiful goyle? This is very organized. And one of those. Where are you? There you are, but this is not the one that I want. All right, you know what? We're about to get elbows deep in this bitch. Abby, where are you? Y'all. Aha! She was in a different box. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm looking at this, uh, this is not exactly what I want. <laughs> Classic me. So I kind of forgot that it doesn't actually have any straps here. That's okay. I think I'm gonna take this. A lovely human named Kathy sent me in my PO box a while ago, except I'm gonna modify it a bit. I have the lacing on the back, hopefully. We're gonna try that and see if that works. I kind of feel like I've done um, a bajillion of this same kind of style on my channel, <laughs> but uh, this time it's reversible, so it's different. My fingers are freezing out here, so let's go back inside. Now that I'm looking nice and schlubby, let's get started. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do is cut out all the pattern pieces. Wow. Okay. Oh, these are already cut out. Lovely. Nice and easy. Oh, okay. Hi. Just kidding, the um, pieces are already cut out for me. Well now we can start laying out the fabric and um, putting these pieces down. You know, I thought this hairstyle would be cute, but now that I look at it, I feel a little elderly. I kind of look like Miss Hannigan. Oh no. So while I do this, I will answer some questions. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. This really does not use a lot of fabric, huh? Okay, and actually because we are switching this up a little, so this is the front and then this is the back. And the back is telling me to put it on a fold so that it'll be one continuous piece. But because I kind of want to do the lacing in the back rather than the front, I'm gonna switch this so that this is on a fold and then this can just be cut like the front. Center fold. Angel in a center fold. My memory has just been so. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Alright. Just as Sane asks, creation for which the process was the most fun? Honestly, I would have to say world peace. In a <laughs> okay. Wow, this is starting off strong. Anything that requires me to get like really ugly is my absolute favorite thing to do. For instance, my Gandalf was the absolute most fun I've had in a really long time. Oh. That still remains one of my favorite videos. And I just like go back and watch it sometimes, which is very rare for me because most of the time when I put out a video, it's gone from my mind and I never think about it ever again. That video also sort of tanked when it came out. It's a weird balance where 
The people who did like it really liked it and like really had a good time watching it. And I still get messages of people saying they, they go back and watch it whenever they need a pick me up. To me, that is way more important than views or it being like one of my better performing videos. I don't know, I just feel like there's always time for, you know, pretty dresses. How many times do you truly get to make yourself hideous? Riddle me that. Rubina Bean asks, are you planning on painting another Victorian wall mural in your new house? Yeah, yeah I think so. My problem is that I feel like I'm only really confident in painting the exact mural that I did in my other house. I feel like anything else is like out of my skill set. <laughs> I don't like doing things twice and I, I don't know. No, I have to like research a good design that I feel like I can actually do and not mess up. Another question I'm getting a lot in this is if I plan to do home renovation videos and I absolutely do plan to do that. Home renovation videos are some of my favorites to do like with my other house, but it's just a matter of like, I haven't really started on that yet and we have a few things we have to do before I can even start thinking about DIY projects, like all of the flooring. You don't need me to harp on about that again. Like really big priority stuff like the kitchen, fixing all of the leaks in this house because surprise, <laughs> there's a f***ing lot. <laughs> I just feel like life is short and you know, if you wanna paint on your walls, do it. <laughs> and Sewin, very sweet, just asks, how are you? Which is a great question. I'm all right. Kind of keep going with the flow and um, not get too stressed about things. These past few weeks have been a little rough, you know, with the whole flooring debacle. It, it's really not a big deal because it's such a new house and we were just starting to get to the point where it felt like our house and like home and then to rip up the entire second floor and have it feel like an empty department store just has been a little, we are adjusting to it, but it's also like, it is what it is. It's an old house, very fun discoveries. Like my basement, whenever it rains a significant amount, weeps like it just finished watching Marley and me. It's fun. So every time it rains, my blood pressure goes up. We just had a little bit of bad luck the past few weeks. Frodo got in a little tussle with a dog walking by and he had a big old like tooth puncture on his back and we had to bring him to the vet. And then I caught myself opening a package with a knife because of course I did one thing after the other for a few days there. But yeah, I don't know, in general, I'm pretty good. I am very excited for like spring and fixing up the house and making videos about it. So yeah, thank you for being patient with me. I haven't been doing like a lot of making content just because, you know, things be crazy. I'm just grateful for all of y'all being here. Patience, young Padawan. Yeah a few rapid fire questions because I feel like I always do these videos and I end up answering like five questions in the whole video. Which Spidey wins, Tom, Toby, or Andrew? You know, if you had asked me this two years ago, I would have said Toby five million thousand percent because I hadn't seen Tom's yet. <laughs> now that I'm kind of Marvel trash. Toby. <laughs> It's not necessarily the actor. I think it's just Spider-Man movies from the 2000s have such a nostalgic spot in my heart because I grew up watching them and they're so cheesy. They are uh, the perfect amount of cheese. I love both Toby, Toby, Tom and Toby equally. I will be completely honest. I have not seen all of Andrew's movies. Favorite line from The Mummy? Take that, Bembridge Scholars. Cypher Sushi asks, what are you most enjoying with the new house? On a more positive note, <laughs> not complaining about it. One of my favorite things about this house is the space and the potential, I guess, if that could be an aspect of it. Also, the backyard is really nice. So excited for it to warm up and we can actually go out there and like sit and have picnics and enjoy nature. This seasonal blues that I'm having is rough. Oh, I didn't mean to make two of these. Well, whatever. I think I'm done with you. Get out. Finally, I have all the orange pieces cut out. Okay, the back, <laughs> we're good, we're good. Side back, this side front, and the front. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna cut the same thing out of the other fabric. I'm gonna pop some cakes. I got $20 in my pocket. 
All right, let's do this again. What are some of your favorite memories of film school? Someone else asked um, like my experiences with art school. So I went to Mass Art. It was fine. I mean, in all honesty, I kind of went there because it was a state school and it was cheaper. Mass Art was an interesting um, experience for filmmaking, I'll say that. You know, it's an art school, so it focuses a lot on like experimental film and galleries. That was not the kind of films that I wanted to make. I'd like to think that it broadened my horizons. And um, now I'm a YouTuber, so I guess it didn't really matter where I went to school. <laughs> In a lot of ways, I do miss that time in my life because I was able to make films, make sets and make costumes and cast actors, which was really cool. I held like auditions, which made me feel so official. Oh, what else we got? Does your new farm have a name? Are you going to name it? We definitely want to name it and like put it on like a little sign somewhere, but we don't know what to name it. <laughs> so if you have any suggestions, do leave them down below because I don't really have a knack for clever names for things. So. <laughs> Our house is on a hill, so we were thinking like something to do with that. Then about 30 seconds of throwing out some names that didn't stick, we just kind of gave up, so. This question actually popped up a couple times and that is Merry or Pippin? Which, oh, why you gotta do me like that? Excuse me, my knees need to go there. Hello, baby. Look at this little loaf, man. Don't gruff at me. Mm, 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 mm. Nope, can't do that. I think I'm gonna go with Pippin. It's the hard decision, but I feel like Pippin was a little bit more outspoken than Mary was and a little bit more brave. Please, no one tell Dominic. I actually um, spent way too much money to reserve a spot to meet them at Boston Fan Expo this summer, if it happens. Oh my God. Elijah, Sean, Dominic, and Billy. It was so expensive. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. So I was thinking I want to redo my Arwen that I did like years and years ago and maybe wear that and meet them and take pictures with them. <laughs> and then quite possibly sob. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, okay, now I'm gonna put these all together so we can sit crisscross applesauce, which is good because my knees are angry. <laughs> Oh my god, my knee. I'm so old. What's your favorite game at the moment? Um, and I don't really have one right now, which makes me really, really sad. I'm kind of in like a, a dry spell for games right now. I feel like every game that's been announced lately, it's just like death, darkness, swords. Which coincidentally is the same problem I have regarding Lord of the Rings games. Every freaking Lord of the Rings game is like always in Mordor. Honestly, it's the least desirable place that I want to be in Middle Earth. And I know there's Lord of the Rings online, I just don't have time for like a massive MMO right now. But um, right now I'm playing Animal Crossing. I know I'm literally two years late, but I don't know. I'm, I can't play for too long, basically because I'm so new in real time, which I don't really like when games do. Sometimes I have to stop playing for the day because something is being built and it won't be done till tomorrow. Now what? Like, I'm not just gonna grind and sell seashells. So um, I play for like maybe an hour every morning just to decompress and get myself ready for the day. And then I put it away and don't touch it till the next morning. <laughs> I don't know that I have the patience for this game in all honesty. I'm very instant gratification kind of person in case you don't know this already. <laughs> Blathers is my actual favorite character ever to exist ever. And I love him so much. <sighs> I just realized I don't currently know where my iron is, which is a problem. <laughs> these together and then we can try it on really and then my friends I have to pee let's try this baby on okay I would rather have it too loose 
when I'm trying it on than too tight because that means we can always just make it a little tighter during the sewing process. Do the same thing. Pin all the pieces of the curtain fabric. Put a podcast on and um, do that really quick and then I will check in after. doesn't seem like a big deal to you, then you have never gone through a move whilst being a human tornado and it shows. Hand me your validation because I am so happy that I found this. I have the two layers here, so I'm going to get to ironing and then putting them together. Probably gonna hand sew this, we'll see how I'm feeling. Now that these are all ironed and nice and flat, we can start pinning them together. I figured we could answer a couple more questions. So basically I'm just taking these two layers and sandwiching them on top of each other because I have pressed the edges inwards. So I should be able to go up against each other and then I'll figure out how I'm gonna sew this. Question number one, where did I just put my phone that I had 0.3 seconds ago? Here it is. I'm gonna do a couple quick ones. Just Keep Digging asks, if Frodo had to be named something else, what would it be? Probably Falcor. <laughs> I've always wanted to name a dog Falcor, and he kind of reminds me of a luck dragon. He's like Falcor, but inverted. Christy with a K. So what's the weirdest slash creepiest thing you found in your new house? To be honest, we haven't found much. I think maybe we'll come when we start getting more into tearing things apart. Most of the stuff we found honestly has been from the previous owners, which it was a family who lived here since like 1994 or something. 90s kids stuff from the kids that lived here. Actually in this room, we were moving the wood from the fireplace here and we found a little fall guy, a little Robin Hood. Treasure, now I'm gonna keep him forever. He's my little lucky Robin Hood. I love that kind of stuff, man. Even if it's not necessarily uh, historic, like that was just clearly like an 80s toy, everything tells a story. So it's like, you know, what was he doing between the logs in the fireplace? Was one of the kids playing with him there and then dropped him never to see him ever again? These are the questions we ask. It's like uh, modern archeology, span I guess. But yeah, I'm hopeful. Once we start doing more renovation, maybe we will find more treasure. I don't know. Uh, Monseac asks, how do you avoid burnout? And um, Kara also asked this question. I don't, I don't know that I have like a, a formula how to avoid burnout, but for me, just taking time when I need it has been really, really helpful. Nope, not gonna put that in my mouth. My new schedule of taking one week off every month has really really helped me because it was getting to the point where, where i was making stuff and i was proud of it so then i would post that on a friday and then like immediately just have to start working on something else on a monday it was a weird feeling just because i i felt like i never got to sit with a project or be proud of a project for more than like a day before i had to be like all right Next project. So now having kind of a weak buffer if I need it is like really, really helpful because I can sit back and take stock and schedule, do all the crap around the house that needed to be done that I couldn't do when I was like working all day every day. So yeah, I don't know, just taking mental health breaks. Why is this so hard? Hello. Comma Splice says, no question, but tell Frodo I love him and Binks too. Frodo! Hey buddy, come here. I got something to tell you. Hey, so, um, Kama Splice told me to tell you that she loves you. Okay. He hath been told I shall tell Binks when she decides I am worthy of her presence. Kama Splice told me to tell you that she loves you. This is completely unrelated, but if y'all have any um, TV show recommendations, please. I can't promise I haven't already seen it because um, Nick and I are struggling. <laughs> I feel like we've literally watched everything that ever existed. When we just finished some old episodes of American Pickers, we're also watching <laughs> old episodes of Goosebumps on Netflix. 
Dun, 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 dun. One of the episodes in the first season of Goosebumps is called Say Cheese and Die. Little baby boy, Ryan Gosling is in it. And I was so excited when we turned that episode on. I did that literal Leo DiCaprio meme. I am going to keep at this. It is like three o'clock right now. So I think by the time I'm done with this, it might be dark out. I will see you in a little bit. And if not, tomorrow morning. to me feels very like Snow White in the beginning of the movie. As some of you know, I generally prefer the rags version of Disney princesses. <laughs> and then if someone accuses you of wearing too many earth tones, which first of all, rude, but bam, <laughs> what earth tones? All I know is florals, bitch. This is the other side. I like that on this side you can see some of like the thread details and stuff. Not bad, I say, for a pair of old curtains that I found at the thrift store. <laughs> I also wasn't sure how it was gonna look because I didn't really pay too much attention to like the stripes and where everything was lining up. I think it came out pretty symmetrical, which is really honestly surprising. <laughs> I just love that the two sides have like completely different vibes. This one is more like ballet royal core where the other one was earthy crunchy. <laughs> That's what I love about reversible stuff. Like you can change the entire feel of an outfit by just turning it inside out, which is, and it still takes up the same space in your closet. I vote for literally everything being reversible. I said it. Such a bold and controversial standpoint. But yeah, that's it. I had a ton of fun making this, even though yesterday I literally got knocked on my butt from like some stomach bug or something. I don't know, but you girl was throwing up all day. And I still feel kind of gross and sick today, but you know what? We persevere. <laughs> I'm gonna go drink some ginger ale and finish editing this. I just wanted to do a more laid back, relaxed video, chit chat, because I feel like I haven't been able to do that ever since moving. <laughs> so thank you so much, Native, for sponsoring this video. If you guys did want to check that out and get the discount that they're offering, the link is in my description and make sure to use my code maxi4. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays. And we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Is bleh, 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 bleh. Okie dokie. Artichoke. A little bit. Eh. Okay. Move closer here. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Okie dokie. What was I looking at? Oh. Oh, I just threw up in my mouth a little. That was gross. <laughs> oh, I'm so lovely. Really. <laughs> Is Frodo? Once in a lifetime, once in a while.